Tem Jin, Rif Kaishta En Gaya, Kaishta Et Displayer, Devered Me Castle. What is up, YouTube? This is this Game here, and today we are back on The Witcher 3. So, yeah, we defeated Markvarg, and now we are on our way to meet up with Yennefer to do this last wish quest. Ugh. The only reason I like doing this is because I finally get to tell her what I've wanted to tell her the entire time. Uh, this episode is only going to be the last wish quest, and then in the next one, we will either go to Uma, or we'll go do another Skellige quest that I know of. Either way, I mean, we'll find out in the next episode, but That's right now, we are focusing on T-posing grinding. <laughs> but yeah, right now, we're focusing on Whoa. Yennefer. And her moody, moody, floating human. Okay, you see what I mean? Let's get on with this so that we can finally tell her what we've all wanted to tell her ever since we met her. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm hmm Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember, but the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power, and that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His book strongly suggests he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Know where to look? For the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Come. The landing's not far. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Respect, Witcher. Did you sever his head? Head of a giant on your mouth? Not like that. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. 
I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant to be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. Not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. If any of you are wondering why I don't have my uh, swords equipped, whenever I'm in the boat, I just don't like whenever uh, they... Speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? I wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. As I was saying before, Yennefer rudely interrupted me. I always take my swords off whenever I'm in the boat because I just don't like the way they hang off the boat. Like, I... I don't know. I kind of do it for the role play, but I know it's not that big a deal, but to me it kind of is. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. But yeah, like I said, it's not, I know it's not necessary to unequip them or whatever. But like I said, it just, my OCD, it just bothers me whenever I see my swords hanging off the boat. Where to now? Wherever the leads take us. Say we find the gin. What'll you do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gin, or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. That is another thing about Yen. You ask her, you ask her what it is she wants in a plan and Something's all that. Here, Let's see if our gin's down there. Like every time she has a plan or whatever you ask her, she never gives you an answer. She always just keeps it to herself. Okay, let's see what we can find. Look around, but be careful. 
Look for something that might indicate it's the late... A man's skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Uh, I don't think we can search elsewhere because I don't think that is part of this universe. That is part of the Elder Scrolls universe. Also, I do plan on getting elsewhere. Depends. Uh, I might do some videos with my friends on it. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you help me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. Let's see what it is. I don't know why, but I sometimes still forget that it's B to get out of something. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I should cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Achter Ilivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fortia Badem Ein Achter Ilivade. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. I find it a little funny that he's actually talking underwater. Like, if you actually go around to to facing him to his face, he's actually moving his mouth. <laughs> kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, she slowed his heart rate so that he could breathe underwater a little longer. But that doesn't exactly make it so he should be able to talk underwater. Then again, with these spells, who knows? Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage.
That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take the wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship on top. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. I, re I honestly just don't see why people. some people actually like her. She has a bad attitude. Mm, nothing interesting here. What about these scissors? Nothing interesting. Oh, I'll take that. That could be useful. Thank you. And... Sure, that bread's been up here for a while, but eh, cold bread. Interesting. <gasps> Boots! Now all we have to do is find Dora. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Wonder what this means. It's a bottle. Geralt, Geralt, it, it's a bottle, okay? It doesn't mean anything, it's just a bottle. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Nothing here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like take us away anywhere to a mountaintop even and the djinn granted the wish literally they had a hard landing amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall the bookcase did the rest always knew too much studying could kill you if he died while being teleported seal might still be on him behold bravo come to the deck i've an idea And I guarantee you, whatever the idea is, she is not going to tell us anything. Who does she ever tell anyone anything? I think that... I mean, you'd think the ship would have, like... Started sliding off the mountain. 
step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tem Jin, Rif Kaishta Eng Gaya, Kaishta Et Displer, Devered Me Castle. Trade places? Geralt, not the time jokes. Although I agree with him. We should we should trade places. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? Okay, let's see that does anything just it doesn't. I really don't even see how we're even doing damage. over yes it's all over maybe we should sit you look a bit dazed I'm not but we can sit we've improved Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rind. Yes, we make a good team. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Not sure I'd have done it if I'd known what this was about from the start. Then we'd never have learned the truth. Whether anything would change after the djinn removed the spell. Has it? Has anything changed? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Sorry, Yen, but magic's gone for me. Truly? But how is that possible? I still feel the same. You should too. I don't understand. What does this mean? Means the Jin granted your wish. Right. Fine. Good. Glad we got that over with. We know where we stand, at least. Naught left for us here. Let's go. Wait. Magic's gone, true, but that doesn't mean I don't like spending time with you. Let's sit a while. Next time we 
to go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Emir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise he might feel compelled to remind you. Don't have the slightest intention of doing that. Well, I can't force you. join you as quickly as I can. Farewell. So long, Yen. <sighs> I mean, seriously though. She clearly... If she really cared about us... Then why would she want to undo the wish that Geralt put? Not to mention, she's just all around rude to everyone. I mean, I I just I'm not into that. No. That's one of the reasons I like this quest because we can finally tell her the truth. <sighs> but yeah, in the next episode we are going to go. To, to pick up Yuma. And not telling how long that episode will be. We'll have to see. But yeah. That's the plan. Unless something changes. Uh, as far as I know right now. The plan is to go do the uh, Uma quest. Or I might do a side quest. But... Most likely it'll be Uma. Because we've done enough side quests and it's time to get on with the main story again. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So, with all that being said, thanks all you guys so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, better leave a like. And as always, please leave a comment down below. Because the comments are the only way that I can improve on these. And if you want to chat me directly or check out updates on the channel, check my Twitter and Instagram at Antilles Gaming. And with all that being said, I will see all of you in... The next episode.